My dear brother, in the presence of the people whom you are receiving into your care, I ask you now to renew the promises you made at your ordination as a priest. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as a worthy fellow worker with the order of bishops and caring for the Lord's flock? Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? I do. do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? Resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest, who offered himself for us the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourself to God for the salvation of all. I do. do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Remember, my brother, always be a loving father, a shepherd, and a wise teacher of your people, so that you may lead them to Christ, who will strengthen all that you do. I now ask you, as a teacher of that faith, to lead your people in the profession of faith. Together, let us pray. I, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy and Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With firm faith, I also believe everything contained in God's Word, written or handed down in tradition, and proposed by the Church, whether, whether in solemn judgment or in ordinary and universal magisterium, as divinely revealed and calling for faith. I also firmly accept and hold each and everything that is proposed by the Church, definitively regarding the teaching on faith and morals. Moreover, I adhere with religious submission of will and intellect to the teachings which either the Roman Pontiff or the College of Bishops enunciate when they exercise the authentic magisterium, even if they proclaim those teachings in an act that is not limited. I, I be solemn opponent in assuming the office of pastor of St. Martin de Porres Parish promise that I shall always preserve communion with the Catholic Church, both in words I speak and the way I act. With great care and fidelity, I shall carry out the responsibility by which I am bound in relation both to the universal church and the particular church in which I am called to exercise my service according to the requirements of the law. In carrying out my charge, the 
committed to me by this church, I shall preserve the deposit of faith in society and all faithfully and make it shine forth. As a result, whatsoever teachings are contrary to it, I shall shun. I shall follow and foster the common discipline of the Holy Church and shall look after the observance of all the musical laws, especially those which are contained in the code of canon law. With Christian obedience, I shall associate myself with what is expressed by the bishop as authentic doctors and teachers of the faith who are established by them as the church's rule. And I shall faithfully assist my African bishop with all apostolic activities to be exercised by the mandate and in the name of the church carried out in communion of the same church. May God help me in this way and the holy gospel of God which I touch with my hand. My dear friends, I now commend Father McConan to you as your pastor. At, at this time, I ask the other clergy and representatives of this parish community to come forward on behalf of all to greet Father McConan. You may be seated. 